Hello everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are connecting from. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe and click the notification button so that whenever we post something, you'll be able to get notified. So we're going to discuss something concerning especially what is going on basically in my country. We are going to see the whole thing through the word of God and we're going to pray. So it is about what is going on. So but before then, let us read through the Bible and see what the Lord is saying because this topic is talking about having wisdom, knowledge and perfect understanding and the good counsel. Let's see what the Bible says about that. So in the book of Proverbs chapter 4, we're going to read from verse uh, 5. It says, Get wisdom, get understanding, do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her and she will preserve you. Love her and she will keep you. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and in all you're getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she will promote you. She will bring your honor when you embrace her. She will place an she will place on you, on your head, an ornament of grace, a crown of glory. She will deliver you. Hear my son, and receive my saying and the years of your life will be many. I have taught you in the way of the wisdom. I have led you in right paths. When you walk, your step will not be hindered, and when you run, you will not stumble. Take firm hold of instruction. Do not let go. Keep her, for she is your life. Till verse 13. This is um, the proverb of David. David is instructing the children of Israel. David was talking to the children of Israel. And today, the instruction of David, we are using it to talk to ourselves. Today, I am here to talk to my people, my Biafran people. I made some research about the Biafran war and what happened and what took place. And my earnest desire is that we will not repeat the mistake of the past because of the level of understanding and the level of things that was going on there. Even when I was growing up, I still see some of the, uh, I see some of the old uh, uh, Biafran pound stirrings, but the notes aspect of it and the coins aspect of it. My mother showed it to us. Some of them was not utilized before they stopped making use of the, the Biafran pound sterling. So what I'm trying to say is that a lot of things took place during the Biafran war. And being that we are not being endowed with the wisdom and with the history of our past, we are bound to repeat the same mistake again. With the influx of uh, the Fulanese flooding our part of the nation, the impunity and a lot of things going on, we need to wise up. So on Monday, I made this video, but I don't know what happens with the, what I made the video with for YouTube that it couldn't post, but it's also on my Facebook page. So I have to redo it today. Please, I am talking to you as your beloved sister, not as a YouTuber who want to make uh, friends or who want to get subscribers. No, my earnest desire is to give whatever I have diligently to my people without any hesitation. So as I was saying, I made some research. I found out that during the Biafran or after the Biafran war, that our people would go to the bank and the bank will only give them 20 naira, no matter the amount of money that they had or they kept in the bank. They will only issue them 20 naira and that's it. They will tell you that's much we can give to you. 
And not only that, they starved our people. They did all kinds of things. And most of those money was hijacked by Dangote father. And that is where the riches started. It's not all about his merchants and everything, no. It is about the hijacking of the money of the bear friend of our heroes. Imagine when you put a million naira in a bank and you came to the bank, they can only give you 20 naira. Not that if you come back the next day, they will give you another 20 naira, but that is it. That's all you can get. Do you understand? Because your information, your name have already distinguished you for them to know who you are. And your language too. That is why in the non share we don't supposed to be together. We don't have anything in common. No cultural background. No, nothing unified us at all. Nothing. We don't have culture. We don't have language. We don't have anything. We are different people like a, a clay trying to mix with a, 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 an iron. It is not possible. Even in the book of Daniel, God laid the emphasis of this whole thing. So today I am trying to open the eyes of my people on what they should do and what is obtainable. Listen, your money in Nigerian bank is not safe. And you are not going to uh, tell me today that I'm just joking. You know what? You see what is going on? They have already hijacked everything. Every security aspect of the nations, all the posts, everything have been hijacked by them. Are you trying to tell me it's only because they are power west? No, it's because they have an agenda. But one thing I know for sure, as long as there is God in heaven, who created the heaven and the earth, who make all things possible, that God is going to do what? Is going to help us in the midst of the whole thing. But at the same time, God help those who help themselves. That's why he said in all you're getting, you need to get wisdom. God laid so many, more than how more than 100 to or 400 verses of the Bible is talking about wisdom, talking about knowledge, talking about understanding. That is to tell you that God so much lay emphasis on the principles of getting wisdom, getting knowledge, and getting understanding. God put interest on those things. God wants us not to be living in ignorance of the enemy around us. So the information is this. I don't want you guys, especially if you have a number of money in Nigerian bank, I don't want you to leave it in the bank like business as usual. With the influx of all these alamajuries and all this able war, uh, personnel, boys, especially they are flooding our our eastern part of the country. Most majority of those people are not even from the Connaught. They are from Niger. They are from Mali. They are from all this tyrant environment. And they can kill with impunity. The only thing that makes somebody have a compassion on you is the sense of, oh, maybe I feel something for you. But when somebody don't feel anything for you, Nothing. You know that these people, they lack compassion. They lack love. They lack feelings for anything. So for that reason, you need to be prepared. So like I was saying, I don't want us to be taken on our way again. I know that Ilufai and all the Kabas, they have been eyeing our people for a long time. We are together because of oil. We're together because of a lot of things. They just want to narrate or they will just want to bring an end to us. But one thing I know is this. You cannot uproot what you did not plant. God is the God that planted the Igbos, the Biafrans. They did everything possible during the Biafran war. They killed, they destroyed, they mayhem, and the leftover, you know what they did? They starved them to death. But out of God's infinite mercy, we are able to spring up. We are able to zoom up. We are able to sprout with the mighty hand of God. And not only that, such a thing happened. We are able to come back 
with a full force because they did not kill our spirit. You get defeated in a war when your spirit is being captured. And my prayer is that the spirit of my people will not be captured in this generation. God is going to give us victory. But like I said, you don't have to be ignorant of the enemy. You need to prepare yourself for the day of battle. Do you understand? The Bible said that uh, horses, chariots, and every war thing, they are all prepared for the day of war. So my prayer is that we're not going to be ignorant of the enemy. We're going to be wise and we're going to be, you know, aware. We're, go we're not going to be sleeping with our two eyes closed, but we're going to be alert, okay? So like I said, my emphasis is for you to get wisdom. Ask God for the spirit of wisdom so that you'll be able to discern what is going on. Like when they fly, they about 15... Um, uh, Chinese people to Nigeria. I I just take a closer look at these people. I am in the medical field, in the emergency department for that matter. I just look at them. I know that in my head. I say, God, why? Why? These people are not medical personnel. China in their wickedness can never ever release their 15 medical personnel to Africa unless for their gain. Do you understand? When I look at them, I made a video about them on my Facebook page. I said that these people are not for us. These people are agents of death. They are just being trained, maybe how to inject you with whatever vaccine they are making, which is not to help you on anything, but to cause you more harm. And a lot of findings are backing that up. Do you know why? The spirit of God is not an author of confusion. He speak to us in so many ways. Another thing is this, like this thing I'm telling you was the emphasis, was the burden upon my, my heart. During the 2014-2015 uh, election campaign in Nigeria, I look at what was going on. I look at the evil, the cloud of evil that are everywhere. I was praying. I, I was, you know, then I don't have a, 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 a broadcast like this on Facebook. I just have a normal Facebook page. I told people that are in my friendship, I told them, say, listen, you guys are about to vote not only your generation, but your 10th generation away through this vote you're about to make to Buhari. Because Buhari is never for you guys. And Buhari is never going to be for you guys. I want you guys to understand that. And everybody was like, it is because you are not here. You don't. I say, no, you guys are enjoying what is called pure democracy. But devil have blinded you guys so much that you, this kind of hatred is going on concerning uh, good luck, Jonathan. You guys don't know what you're enjoying until it is gone because there is nothing good that is going to come out of Bukhari. Whether you like it or not, remember the PTF money. He swindled everything. No matter everything, the, from the time, in, even if nobody is teaching you history, you need to learn how to teach yourself the truth and ask God to give you the understanding. I said it then. And before you knew what was going on, Usubanjo became the, the, the running mate. I was like, this is a doom day for Nigeria. My people, I'm praying that God, you open my eyes. I talk this thing directly with my brother. I say, for this man to pick a pastor and this pastor was ready to leave his post as a man of God, as a child of God, as a pastor of the flock of heaven is to tell you that devil is at work. This is not from God. If you are a servant of God, if you are a pastor, there are some certain things you can just you cannot just wake up and do. You have to do things according to the principles of the Bible. You can't just get up and do things your way. No, you have to do things the way of God. You don't just do things anyhow. I say for this man to accept this post, devil is a bastard. Devil have captured not only the masses, but also the church in night, the churches. That are in Nigeria. Nigeria are completely dead in the hand of the enemy. And what is going on today? Can you see that? I saw that 2014-2015 and I raised an alarm. But nobody listened to me. I'm not angry about that because it is the spirit that have already covered the, the entire 
Nigeria is what is making that to happen. But my prayer is that God will open the eyes of our people. Remember the word of God in the book of Isaiah 25 verse 7. He said the covering of the enemy, the covering cast, the evil veil, that God is going to do, that God is going to take away the covering cast, that God is going to take away the evil veil, both on individuals, both on families, both on nations. And my prayer is that God is going to do that to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. My dear friend people, I am begging you, please do not be ignorant of the enemy. I want you guys to stand up and I want you guys to wise up. Begin to withdraw your money from Nigerian banks. That is the only way you are going to have something. Don't keep your money in the Nigerian bank and say that business is as usual. It is not. It is not. The people, the 15 people that was brought to Nigeria, they, are not, they have nothing to do with the medical field. Those people are there for Chinese people. Do you know what they are planting? They are planting 5G and they started in Kano and people are dying in their numbers in Kano. They say it's coronavirus. It is a lie. All these things that are going on is as a result of the 5G is killing people because of the massive uh, uh, radiation coming out from it. Please, when the Children of God, I'm not here to ask you for money. I'm not a pastor. I'm just a child of God. And I call to be an intercessor, a mediator between man and heaven. That is who I am. Do you understand? I know that so many things have made people to lose hope, even in churches. It doesn't supposed to be so. It is because of the spirit of last day. But you can redeem something. You can redeem the time. I want you guys to rise up. I want you guys to do the need for things. Search for things you can invest online. And I'm also encouraging you as you're coming to YouTube, watching other people, you can as well open up a YouTube channel. You don't have to have everything. I started with my phone. That is what I'm broadcasting now with. I started, I started with my phone. And with time, I'll be progressing. Do you understand? Do whatever you like. Post it on YouTube. With you, you know it. Before a year, two, three years, you are going to grow. You are going to have subscribers. You are going to have viewers. And through there, you will be making money to support yourself. You see that? Looking at what is going on, everything is going digital. So please, as I'm urging you guys to not keep your money in the bank. Change your money to hard currency, to dollar, to euro, to pounds. And buy a safe and bury it on the ground. Buy shares, buy gold. Things that you can move around so easily. As you do that, may the good Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We're going to pray a short prayer. Our Father and our God, I thank you for the privilege and the opportunity that you have given unto me. I present to God my, my, my brothers and sisters into your hands. Father, I am messaging them because I love them, because I care for them. I'm asking you, God, to come and have your way in their life. I'm asking you, God, to come and... Uh, Open their eyes. Give them the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, oh God. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. I ask for your grace. I ask for your power. I ask for your anointing. I ask for your Holy Spirit. That it take us through control. Oh, Jesus, at the end, oh God, your perfect will be done in the name of Jesus. Amen. I give you glory because I know you're gracious, God. I worship you because I know you're that last thinking. Father, you say you know you're getting. Get wisdom, get knowledge, and get understanding and good counsel. That you gave Solomon wisdom. Father God, he was able to lead the children of Israel until he overclouded himself with people that don't believe the same thing with them. That is what happened when you joined a water and the oil together. It's not going to mix. Father, I pray that Lord, you open the eyes of my people that we are no longer going to be ignorant of the enemies of God. I cover this video with the blood of Jesus so the viewers, but now tomorrow and in the future the lord you're going to give them the wisdom to do exploit in jesus name please my brothers and sisters as you are subscribing to my channel i want you to subscribe to jesus Christ. i want you to give your life to christ okay the purpose of this channel is to bring souls to Christ, if for us to share our burden to pray for our burden together as you do that may the good lord do what reward you abundantly like i said i'm going to post the robin hood uh, um, link under this video and see if you can be able to make use of it. Okay? I love you all. I mean your sister. Next time. Bye.